Welcome to Work Smarter TV. I am Martin, and in this video I will show you how to create a bar chart in Excel. We have sales data for all of the months of the year and for five different cities. We'll select this and go to the second tab, insert, and we go to the charts area here. Now we can either have a look at the recommended chart that Excel recommends for, these, this, for this data, but we said we were going to create a bar chart, so we'll pick this one, insert bar chart. If we click on the little triangle next to it, it will fold out and we get a, see a, a few options. We have a regular bar chart where all the data for the cities uh, are next to each other in their own data series, or you have a stacked bar chart where you have a total sales for all cities together. And yeah, you can see the first, the first part, the blue, blue part is New York, then the orange is Los Angeles, and you can see total sales as well. And we have a 100% stacked bar where you can, where the total sales number is uh, set to 100%. And you can very well see the differences between the cities. We'll pick this one because it looks nice. Uh, drag this up and make it a bit bigger. Now we'll add a title first. We just double click here and we just select it. Yeah. Sales in five, five cities. Now this all looks nice, but I want to have one thing different because I don't know, I want January to be on top and December at the bottom, don't you? Now there's two ways to go about this. The first one is, we, is in the chart. We select this one here and we go to Format Axis. Uh, and as you can see, then we get here, we get a dialog box, whether you had that open or not, it goes to the right spot. And we select here categories in reverse order. Now, as you can see, January, we close this. Again. January is and on top now and December is at the bottom, but Excel has also moved the uh, X axis labels to the top. Now, this is of course, okay for the data and some of you might actually prefer it. Um, and you get to see the, the, the legends down, which is nice, but um, most of the times you want the x-axis to be here and the y-axis to be there. Also possible, but we have to go about it in a bit of a different way. We undo this change. You can just as easily go to format axis again and unclick this. Uh, the category is in reverse order, but we'll do it like this. Um, and if we want to do it like this, but with, uh, uh, if we were to get January up here while we keep this data down here, we can change the data here. We go to sort, we go to data and then sort. And we're going to sort by uh, sales on values. And now we have to pick a custom list here. And yeah, we click John Fab. More, etc. And now we click the reverse order. And now the data is sorted with December 1st, and as you can see, immediately the chart updates. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button. And if we want to receive email updates and tips and tricks in your inbox when I uh, post post them, um, you can click on the Work Smarter TV button. This will take you to my website, worksmarter.tv. Uh, and you can subscribe to my mailing list there. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye bye.